when we say gold do you mean gold etf kindly explain okay so uh, so when we talk of gold there are various options by which you can um, sort of invest in gold one is physical gold the second is in the form of gold etfs the third is in the form of gold funds uh, then there are e golds etc etc now the challenge with the traditional way of investment was physical gold and and you know if you recollect um, uh, you know most occasions festivals you know we had this habit of buying physical gold but the challenge is where do i keep it today okay so physical gold has a limitation in terms of uh, one storage two uh, even if you keep it in a bank locker for which we pay maintenance charges let me tell you that rbi has issued a statement or a notification which clearly says that in the event of a, a, a sort of a dacoity kind of thing in the bank locker the bank is not liable for the damages so it's like this you know you have you have kept a security guy in the society whom you are paying money as salary and he says that if somebody comes and loots your house i am not responsible okay so that's the challenge today with physical gold you cannot wear it because if you especially in places like mumbai if i wear and go then there will be four followers who will follow me on a bike okay so that's a challenge so that's the other problem so one of the interesting ways of investing is uh, investing in etfs or in the form of uh, et uh, uh, gold funds now etf what happens is an exchange traded fund so every month or at a pre decided frequency you can buy golds but the minimum you have to buy is 1 gram okay for people who say that i cannot buy 1 gram you can come to a gold mutual fund which will essentially invest in a gold etf and there you can invest as low as 500 rupees 1000 rupees whatever you are comfortable with now why should you invest again i have already said that gold is an excellent edge especially when uh, events become uh, catastrophic there's a lot of uncertainty around what can happen therefore from that perspective you can look at investing the portfolio is nicely balanced to um, what i also have done it you know personally is that i have a daughter so when she was born in 2009 10 i started investing in gold etfs because in our community and i'm sure everybody can easily resonate with this you know we uh, we have to put a lot of jewelry you know during the wedding so if you try to accumulate gold at a later stage this is what typically our parents used to do when their daughter is about 20 years old you know they will start accumulating gold in the next 2 3 years for the marriage and i said can we start every month sip 1 gram of gold etf every month for the next 25 years i have got 300 grams of gold ready with me so all that i have to spend money at that time is on the making charges so these are ways and means by which you can explore opportunities but what i generally intend when i talk of gold is either gold etfs or gold mutual funds depending on what suits you okay is is the one that you have to choose